In tonight's Decision 2012 red, white, and blue coverage of the 36th Congressional District race, we hear from Dr. Raul Ruiz over the controversial photo that surfaced yesterday. KMIR 6 News anchor Thalia Hayden was at this evening's pre-debate rally and joins us in studio. Thalia. As expected, both candidates spent the day hitting the campaign trail, but the buzzworthy photo of Dr. Raul Ruiz's arrest became a talking point at tonight's rally. Hundreds of supporters showed up for a pre-debate rally in Indio for Dr. Raul Ruiz. The rally was just absolutely wonderful. It really shows that the community is really behind this campaign and, and uh, my race for Congress. But one of the topics that couldn't be avoided was the picture released yesterday. It shows Democratic candidate Dr. Raul Ruiz in a courtroom following a 1997 arrest in Massachusetts. The photo was sent to KMIR 6 News from the Mary Bono Mac campaign. Dr. Ruiz was protesting the government treatment of Native Americans since the pilgrims arrived. I stood up for Sam, an elder who was right about to be beaten, and I shielded his, his body so that he wouldn't get hit, and I took the beating and the pepper spray, and I got arrested, and, and uh, everything, all the charges were dropped. A Bonomax spokesperson released this statement, quote, These radical anti-American activities led by Raul Ruiz, including anti-Thanksgiving protests and supporting FBI killer Leonard Peltier for a span of six years, brings the whole legitimacy of his candidacy into question. It certainly explains the support he'd received from Sean Penn, the Hugo Chavez apologist, and why the infamous left-wing billionaire Soros family have invested so much money into his cause, end quote. You know, I think it's a shame that a Congresswoman would want to portray me as anti-American for speaking up for Native American heritage. They're scratching for something. They're just looking for something. And they cannot find anything right now. It was really sad to see that it's come down to this point in the election, and this is all that they can say. But Bono Max Camp says local law enforcement is outraged by Ruiz's history when it comes to this type of activity. Now, we spoke with Bono Max Camp to see how she's spending her debate week. Last night, she was at the Marine Base in 29 Palms for an event with the troops. This morning, she spoke to business owners at the Indio Chamber of Commerce breakfast. And tonight, she was at La Quinta High School to share information with students about different branches of the military. A busy day for both candidates. Back to you at the desk.